Be sure to join me and my crew this morning as we do the morning toast. Right now, <coughs> I'm getting all greasy for y'all. Um, tell them what I'm using, uh, uh, Miss Gina. I'm going to make a hair and body butter. How much it cost, Mr. Brown? $15. $15. This is some good stuff. It has shea butter, coconut oil, olive oil, Jamaican black castor oil, tea tree oil, moringa oil, black sea oil, sandalwood oil, and eucalyptus oil. Good grief. Man, you talking about health, right? So, hey, join us because today I'm going to talk about fasting. Well, my fault. Intimate fast. We'll talk about fast in the mall. That's Peace. That's a lot of oil. That's a lot of oil. Peace, y'all. This is Brother Hot Tim coming at you live. We are doing the Daily Toast. It is Imani. Great Imani to everybody. Um, apologies to those on YouTube because for some reason my camera is going dark again. Look at it. Look at it. Look at this side. I mean, Gina. Look at it, Gina. It's uh, your mama on the line. Hi, Mommy. All right. So, um, yo, we're going to do the toast. So, of course, you know we start off with water. Me and G going to do our water. Which glass you want to do, Gina? This one. All right. First, we going to bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. That one right there. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. All right, cool. We about to do our toast. We going to do... Death eater today. We're gonna toast with the death eater today. So um let me move the death eater. Uh oh, your uncle Ernie on the line. Hi, Uncle Ernie. Right, Ernie. Ernie is um that that's 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 my actual brother. Alright, so here we go. We're gonna drink our water. Which one you doing? Which one you drinking with? Okay, cool. Make sure you stay hydrated, family. Today we're going to be talking about fasting, well actually we're going to talk about the intermittent fasting, then we're going to talk about the fasting tomorrow, I think, depending on what goes on in the world today. Alright, so we're going to drink our water, drink your water, Gina, drink it up. Stay hydrated, family. Stay hydrated. Most of y'all suffer. Most of us suffer from dehydration. We just don't know it. We think we hungry, but actually our body is crying out for water. I'm still trying to learn the signals myself. So, but we need to stay up on our water. Trying to work my way up to 32 ounces. Start the day off. I start off with y'all. Even if it's late, I'm just starting my day right now. So every day when I start, I'm doing a toast. So make sure in the morning you getting you you getting you some water, some real hydration, right? The 
get your baby started. I'm drinking water. Do you want to do this with me this morning? Mm -hmm. um, we're going to do our chlor oxygen because we're almost out of the black seed oil. I'm, I'm going to do my review on black seed oil, but I want you all to remember this is my halftime um, my half time review of it. So maybe we might do the black seed oil tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm just waiting for it all to be gone. And then we'll do uh, a quick review of the black seed oil because black seed oil right now is all the rage over the internet, right? And I'm going to give you my insight on what I experienced with the black seed oil, okay? So make sure y'all tune in to the YouTube channel so that y'all can keep up with um, the different stuff that I'm experimenting with. So I'm going to give you my review on the black seed oil. Then also we're going to talk about chlorophyll and the importance of chlorophyll, right? So we got a lot of stuff to talk about, um, but of course we always got to start by toasting the ancestors. My daughter is bold enough to try it with me, so I'm going to give her nine drops. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine for her. I leave about nine right there, and then I'm going to give myself... 9 plus 18, which is 27. All right. So they, 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 they suggest that you start from anywhere 18, between 18, and work your way up to 36 drops. 20. According to this, there should be 60 servings. So I should be able to do um, 30 drops in the morning, 30 drops in the evening. I'm trying to keep it up. So we pour it in so that y'all can see. How green it is. Ooh, Gina. You gonna be able to handle that? Yep. I like mine's dark green. Now I want y'all to notice something about this green, right? Dark green. See, because the, one of the reasons they like this is because it's like blood. Like blood. It is built. And the chlorophyll is built like blood, but it's also like the um the melanin as well. And it's green, but it looks almost black. Don't so you know what I'm saying? Don't waste it on you because you're going to get stained and it will never come off. Right, right. Gina said don't waste it on you because it will stain. And it stains like blood. You won't get it. It, it won't come out. All right? So, me and Gina's going to drink ours. Hopefully, y'all drinking y'alls with us. As we can see, Gina might not be able to finish hers. If you can't finish it, it's alright, baby, because it is kind of strong. Now, some of the things that I have noticed so far. This stuff goes straight through you, right? Now, it goes straight through you. It helps clean out your system. Helps build up blood. Now, I will let you know about the build up blood because in my review, I'm going to talk about that because... I should be able to do my breathing a little bit better after I start this. So, I'll be able to um, tell that to you, right? You want to finish yours, Gina? All right, it's too strong for Gina, so I'll finish Gina's. Shouts out to uh, Brother Yancey. How you doing, Mr. Carter? All right. So, the chlorooxygen, I'm going to finish it. You sure you don't want to take another sip? It'll run right through your kids, so she's going to be going to the bathroom soon, right? And your poop is going to be green for a while, so don't be freaked out, right? It's going through and it's helping clean and push out all of the toxins. It helps suck up some of the heavy metals. It, is, uh, um, um, it totally detoxifies you, right? Supposedly. So we'll see because we're experimenting, right? Mm. Yours wasn't that strong, though, but hey, thank you for toasting with me. She said the side of her tongue feel funny, right? So it's a different type of taste. It's you know it's sort of like uh, those of you that's old enough to remember what pot liquor is. It's like it's pot liquor. It's just not seasoned. You know what I'm saying? Because it's basically um, crushed greens, 
Um, but we'll talk about it a little bit more. It says build builds red blood cells. All right. So if you having problem with your blood, right? If you having problem with your breathing, if you having problems with stuff like that, this is supposed to work. But like I said, you give me about another 15 days, and I better give you a full review on it, like I'm gonna do the review on the black seed oil. All right. Because like I said, we have to start letting each other know how this stuff works. Because right now, black seed oil is all the rage on the internet. They say that it helps with your sexual prowess. It it helps. Uh, it even makes the thing a little bit thicker and stuff like that. I'm going to give you all a review on it, right? Because I've been using it uh, maybe a little bit over 30 days now. So I want to make sure that I get the full use out of it. And give it a break and then go back on. So this is going to be the halftime review. Sort of like a football game where you got people talking to you about what's going on during the halftime. I'm going to give you the halftime review because I'm going to give it about a, a, a 15 to 30 day break. Then I'm going to get back on it, right? But So I did get some effects, but I didn't get all the effects that everybody is screaming about. Because one of the things we got to be aware of is that a lot of people jump on stuff. And because of the excitement and because everybody else is saying it's good, they automatically say it's good. Now, I'm, you're not going to necessarily get that with me, right? You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm, I'm about, I'm about us working as a group, but I'm not about group think. Where we all just agree on something because somebody gave it a rave review. I'm going to give you the honest, I'm going to give you my honest opinions on it. Like today, we're going to talk about intermittent fasting, right? And that's, that's, that's real good for some of y'all. Mm. Don't do that. Ah. All right, Gina, you ready? Yeah. Now this is the Death Eater. She might not be in the handle of this. This one is straight. This has no green tea. This is all dandelion root. Straight up. Straight up. It's dandelion root and burdock root. Now I'm gonna go and talk about dandelion root and burdock root on a on a future video again. So that I can remind y'all about the benefits. I'm not going to fill up your glass. So I don't think you're going to be able to handle this one. Alright. But. Hold on. Go and smell it. What does it smell like? Uh, ginseng? No, nah, this is not ginseng, baby. Alright, so. First, we're going to toast. We're going to toast our creator. By whatever name you choose to call that creator. We call that great energy upon ourselves. We know it's always around us. But we want to wake it up so that it could work directly for us. So we call on the creator and we say, Ashe. from there, we move on to our personal ancestors. We call on those grandmothers, those grandfathers, those aunts, those uncles, those cousins, those friends that have made their transition. We want to remember them every day, right? Because like I said, hell for African is being forgotten. I often have nightmares about our ancestors calling and telling us that they can't help us because we don't remember them. We don't build monuments to them. We don't do anything, right? You know what I'm saying? So it's like we, we wear a t-shirt for a couple of days and after that, it's over. So we salute our ancestors. I go down my personal family line. Y'all go down y'all family line at this time too. Miles Brown, Miss Ann, Robin and Texana Davis, Herman Brown Sr., Rosalie Tilly, Georgia William Walton, Christopher Fanny Gatson, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, um, Geneva, Brown, Cleveland Brown, uh, Margaret Ellis, I, um, Cecil Ellis, Wash Ellis, um, uh, John Fillar, Jamon Jones. Cleveland Brown. Okay, Cleveland Brown again. Montague Pittman L, also known as Fanokes. Um, Jeremiah Toppin. Um, Dr. Mary Ann Williams. Um, Elder Donaldson. Pastor Yusef Weston. Um, Elder Hairston. Um, I think that's all that I got right pie. now. You already said people. Alright, we toast all of those ancestors, all those all those we called and all those we didn't call, and we say I said. from there. We call on. Oh, Mama Malika, Ashe. Uh, from there, we call on 
this moment. This moment is a money. We call on this day. We remember this day because all our powers are now. We toast and we say, I say. From there, last but not least, we toast our children, our children's children onto infinity, and we say, all right, now, anybody that has any special toast, this is what we do it. We salute. We, we ask the ancestors to move out in front of us and clear the way, make the path smooth, and we say, Ashe. 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 We wish y'all peace, power, joy, and 100 years. Miss Aisha says she want to send shots out to her grandpa, Frank, Frank Smith. We salute. Oh, check out the beginning of the YouTube video because I'm big up in your product. She also say Mother Bertha. Shots out. Um, uh, hey, go get that Go get that body butter <laughs> while, while you're here, while we're here. So we're going to sip a little bit. 100 years. That's right. Since Sister Aisha's on here, we big up in her and her product. This is Body Butter. Right. I'm Alika, hair and body butter. Y'all gonna see me using this. I'm also gonna do a review on it. And um after I get done, this is a nice size jar. And it's $15. $15. You get in touch with her. Um her business name is Lotus Yanni Spa. And she could talk a little bit more about that because I don't want to talk about it because, you know, I'm kind of freaky, right? Um, the number is 937, let me get my glasses, 705-5558. Post your number up. Oh, she got larger jars as well. She put it up. It's uh, facebook.com forward slash Lotus Yanni Spa. Man, man, I can't wait to see the pictures on that one. She posted her number up, 705-937-705-5558. Now, I've been using this, right? I used it for the last two days. Um, it melts in your hand. It has a very, very unique and beautiful smell. Um, it, it supplies me with everything I need because I usually use olive oil. Shea butter or coconut oil or a mix between them, and this has all of it. Plus, it has tea tree oil, moringa oil, and black seed oil. So we taking the black seed oil in the body and the black seed oil on the skin, on top of the coconut oil, which we also take internally as well. So now, a lot of these oils are real good for us. Oh, of course, water is the best. Right? Um, so we're gonna we gonna we gonna keep on using this and we're gonna review it. Me and her gonna be making trades because we basically made a trade when we did this. Oh she got um she said healing the ethereal waters of the world, black Jamaican castor oil as well. So what did mommy say? Mommy ain't say nothing. Alright, hold on. So she put a number up there, so make sure that those that are listening to us now and later get in touch with her. Get some of the body butter. It's real good for you. Alright. Um, for those on YouTube, once again, the number is 937-705-5558. Alright. You get in touch with her. Let's go and support black business. Now, like I said, there's no reason, there's no reason that as black people, we should be using any other products to get rid of ash. I said ash. A-S-H. That stuff that you wake up with on your skin. There's no reason we should be using something produced by people outside ourselves. Lever and all that other shit, we don't need to be using it. If we can't control the ash business, there should be no ash business. Do you understand? Now, it's bad enough we give away all our damn business as far as the hair. But we don't need to give up our skin care issues because we could. some of us could be doing like Sister Aisha in our kitchens right now making stuff to get rid of ash and giving us helping us with healthy skin uh, healthy skin she says 
And I charge it with my love and healing crystals too. Love you. I love you too. But hey, so, so not only is she making it, she's throwing the ingredient of love. And she's also doing it around crystals. Now, we're going to talk about the power of crystals on the show as well. But a lot of y'all, y'all need to pay attention to this, right? I'm not playing, right? It's about economic development, right? Like I said, a nation is a stable, historically developed community of people with territory, economic life, distinctive culture and language in common, right? Economic life. Economic life. Economic life. Economic life. Most of the products that I'm using are products that we could make. Alright? Y'all need to, I mean, y'all really need to check this out. It's real. We can control this. Coconut oil? Hell. As a matter of fact, we can make it a business of fun. We could go over to Ghana, Senegal. We go to Jamaica. You know what I'm saying? We could take trips. And on the trips, not only do we kick it, but we make arrangements for the people that make this. This is made directly in Ghana. We could get this. This is made directly in Ghana. We could get this. Right? This is made right here in Columbus. We got our own Scobies now, family. We could be building. Hell, we could learn how to make this. The chloroxygen. Oxygen. Miss Aisha says, and I buy my ingredients from the African market. Uh-oh. See? We already making cross-continental um, connections, right? So I'm gonna finish my toast. Oh, so the place she go to get their get their stuff from Senegal. Y'all don't know this. I want y'all to think about this, right? As black people in America, right? We don't we we open very few stores, right? But brothers and sisters from West Africa come over here. They open up a market and they shop at that market. My wife. Make sure she spend a portion of her income right down the street at the African market. She finds an African market so that she can spend her money with her people. We don't do the same thing. We need to start doing that. I'm just suggesting. I'm just throwing up things like the like like this uh, Al Malika um, um, body butter. I'm throwing up stuff like like um, the uh, uh, um, ambrosia that I make. It's other products like uh, Brother Yancey. They, I mean, if I'm correct, I think they came out with headphones. They doing all types of shit. It's stuff that we got just in our circle where we could provide all our needs. My wife, we went out and bought us a speaker, and that shit broke in a week. I need to get with Yancey and get me some of them headphones here. If he makes speakers, get the speakers up here. And also, he doing unboxing promotion, right? I mean, so much stuff that we doing as a family that we need to start... Um, um, figuring out how we connect the dots, connect the dots, so that we can start booming, right? There's no reason that our children should come up struggling in the same way. We should always make sure our children struggle. I know some of y'all gonna be like, "That's mean," but struggle. Uh, from struggle comes greatness. From suffering comes greatness. So we need to make sure they can struggle, but we need to make sure their struggle is different than ours. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying, fam. So I'm going to finish this drink, and then I'm going to say peace to Facebook, and then we're going to get on a YouTube piece, and we're going to start talking about the intermittent fasting. Because a lot of health stuff that we can do don't cost money. Like I, I paid almost, I paid uh, $34 for this bottle. I paid $13 for this bottle, right? We don't have to pay a lot of money for our health. I'm just experimenting with these. I don't even, I, I, I'm, those people that are on the Nguza Saba Challenge, I don't even say, right? I don't even tell y'all y'all need this. I'm just experimenting with this for myself, and I'm experimenting with it because other people say that it has been good. So I want to make sure that if my people are doing it, that at least I did it first, and I'm able to give you an example. But the power of coconut oil on your skin and in your body. This bottle of coconut oil lasts me about a month and a half. It costs $6.50 straight from Africa. This red oil right here, right? They used to tell us it wasn't good for us. This is palm oil. This palm oil, right? This bottle costs $7.99. This lasts about a month. Taking a teaspoon a day. 
maybe two teaspoons a day. Beta carotene like you wouldn't believe. It's real good for pregnant women, right? It gives you nutrients that, that otherwise wouldn't be available to you, right? And on top of that, it's antioxidant. You know what I'm saying? For those that don't know what that is, anti you have these free radicals that f fly around your body causing all types of confusion. This helps stop that, right? This help, they help with your mind. Then we got the ambrosia that we brew right here, right? This is dandelion root and burdock root, two of the most powerful herbs on the planet, right? That most of us try to kill out of our garden, out of, out of our yard. These damn things grow everywhere. And it's a perfect example and perfect, it's a perfect model for black folks. We just like the dandelion root and the burdock root. Nobody want to deal with us. They always trying to kill us. They trying to find some type of poison to kill us, but we keep on growing, right? This is the flower that grows through the concrete. And we done found a way to turn it into a drink. Now, a drink, a drink that will help you sustain your life. Family. Look, on this Memorial Day, the best way we can start remembering our ancestors is by, one, taking care of our health because we can't, we can't salute our ancestors and toast our ancestors if we unhealthy. And secondly, family, listen. Second, family, listen. We can't salute our ancestors if we broke. We need to be building monuments to our ancestors. Everybody else do. Why we ain't got? Why we ain't got a? Why we ain't got some space downtown on that big um lawn down there that where they ain't got nothing but open ground where we got a, a salute to our ancestors. You know what I'm saying, family? It, it 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 it's our time. It's our time. I'm hitting fifty, right? If I don't get it done now, I'm not gonna get it done. I struggled through my twenties. I struggled through my thirties. I'm almost done with my forties. It's time for us, especially all of those that's been around me all these damn years, it's time for us to stop fucking around and start building. Building. Right? Because we got kids now. And there's no reason that our kids' struggles should look anything like ours. You know what I'm saying? Let them be struggling with a goddamn car. Let them be struggling with a house note. Let them be struggling with different shit. Let, 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 let one of, I won't. I want one of our kids struggle to be like, damn, I'm making too much money. Is that too much to ask? You know what I'm saying? Let, 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 let our children struggle be like, damn, where can I make this next donation because I don't want to pay all this shit in taxes. That's the type of struggles we need to be moving towards. You know what I'm saying? Not the same struggles that we, that, that, that we was dealing with. You know what I'm saying? We doing ourselves an injustice by allowing our children to have the same struggles we have. Let 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 one of the struggles be, damn, I wonder what college I'm gonna go to. And not where I'm gonna get a loan for, but damn, you know, I go to any college I want to. You know what I'm saying? Where do I want to go to college at? Because the money is already there. Let, let let's let that be a struggle. Right? Come on now. Um let here's another struggle. What stock am I gonna get? That's the type of struggles we need to be talking about building our kids toward, right? So, hey, let's get it moving. All right, I'm going to finish this, and I'm going to say peace out to Facebook. Shouts out to, uh, uh, oh, Jeff, go, uh, what's up, bro? How you doing? Um, uh, make sure y'all get on that and goose aside with y'all. Uh-oh, Miss Lotus Boston is on. What's up, baby? Long time no see. All right, I want to send shouts out to everybody that stopped in on this, on this, Day of Amani. On this day of Amani. Oh, what's up, Ms. Agape Pennywell? What happened? You were supposed to hit me up. Um, I'm gonna be free for the next two days. So if you want that Scoby, you need to get with me, right? Oh, for those out there too, I do have Scoby. So if you want to start brewing your own, I ain't got no problem with that. I got no problem with you brewing your own. Not one bit, not one, because the whole piece is health, right? I can't hog all it. I mean, it's a simple process. You could do it yourself. Those of you that, that don't want that problem, you come to Brother Hot Tim, I got you, right? Because I'm about to go down the basement and start brewing some more right now.
Alright. Um here oh, you called me twice. Oh, I've been asleep. Listen. Let me explain. Let me let me say this to y'all, right? For almost six months I've been getting up at like 3 30, doing my toast at 4 15, and I took a day off. So on Near, I, I took off, so I got up, I did the toast late. No, actually, I did the toast on time on Nia. But I've been sleeping in, so I ain't been taking, I ain't really been taking no calls. So, um, but I do have your Scoby. I'm going to go down, I'm going to package, package it up for you right now. Also, to Miss Vern Love, I'm packaging yours up too. And we will be able to ship, hopefully, within this week. I got to make sure my money right so I can make sure how it goes. Um, Ms. Jasmine says, it's all good, sir. If you text me your address, I'll come by today. All right, I got you. Um, i do it right after I get done with this. I'm going to go down there and get your stuff ready. Um, people still coming in on Facebook. So those that don't know, we just got done toasting ancestors. Never too late. If you got ancestors that you want me to big up while I'm sipping on this ambrosia, because part of the process is we first drink our water, then we drink a health drink. The health drink I drink, of course, is the um, ambrosia. But if you don't got the ambrosia, make sure, um, make sure that you um, have some type of health drink when you toasting with us. We toast our ancestors with a health drink. Also, I'm gonna throw this up again since we got a lot of people. Um, Sister Aisha is making this stuff called. Al Malika hair and body butter. I'm using it. I'm gonna do a review on my YouTube channel, but I'm telling y'all right now, this is a good product. It has shea butter, coconut oil, um, olive, um, coconut oil, Jamaican black castor oil, um, tea tree oil, moringa oil, black sea oil, sandalwood oil, and eucalyptus oil. I'm going to make a suggestion. Can you make me a special batch with frankincense? Cause I love that frankincense smell. This smell is good, right? Listen, black business. Listen, we gotta support each other. And once again, since I got all of y'all on, black folks, there's no reason that we shouldn't control the ash business. If we was to say we wasn't buying no more products that got rid of ash from any other people but ourselves, we would be liberated probably in within thirty within thirty days. Cause every last one of y'all wake up with ash. Right? There's no reason that we should be going to Jergens. There's no reason that we should be going to Lever. There's no reason that we should be going. There are local businesses that make body butter just like Sister Aisha's right here. Right? That we should be knocking the ash off. It's a good product. Excellent smell. Real nice and light. I'm using it in my hair. I'm using it on my skin. We could do that. I mean, because really, I mean, because it's, it's, it's a shame that we gave away the hair business. We gave away the hair business. We gave it away, right? The Koreans won't even let, listen, if one of y'all was to try to jump into the hair business, you couldn't jump into it right now because they done, they freezing everybody out. Freezing everybody out. They won't even, it'd be hard for you to get supplies. You got you to gotta order from China and sneak it on in and then sell it over the internet. You couldn't even open a store because you wouldn't be able to compete. But why we ain't competing with this? Right? For those that's interested. Um, it's Lotus Johnny Spa. She, she put everything up. Right? Um, it's Lotus Johnny Spa. The number is 937-705-5558. It's Al Malika Hair and Body Butter. And since we're toasting ancestors, she named it after one of our ancestors. Al Malika. Malika the Miracle Maker. I seen Malika take it. With absolutely no money, take about 30 people to Ghana. I was a witness. She took me to Ghana for free. Right? Listen. Listen. We got some powerful ancestors. We got some powerful people in our circles. And we need to really start big up. And we got this thing called the internet. Stop crying on this shit. Stop talking about your love affairs. Stop talking about motherfuckers cheating and start building. This is what it's for, right? It's not for the other shit. Let's build. So, hey, I'm going to finish my little drink. 
and then I gotta go on to my YouTube channel. Um, Miss Lotus Blossom, hold on, we got some, we got some other messages. Um, Miss Agape, much respect. I'm so very excited. Thank you for the guidance and support. I love this toast. Hey, fam. Um, make sure uh, I'm gonna give you some instructions when you. Oh, what's going on here? Here we go, YouTube. That YouTube shit. Look at this. All right. Hey. Oh, also, those of you that are listening, I am on Black Spot, right? You can follow me on Black Spot as well. Black Spot family, right? It's our own social media. We don't have to censor ourselves like we got to do on this shit, right? Blackspot.com forward slash Giami Journey. I'm on there. Look for Brother Hot Tim on Black Spot, right? I'm going to put up the link. You know what I'm saying? It costs $5 a month. But hell, if we build it, it ain't free. You know what I'm saying? I'm paying $5 a month to do some of the shit I'm doing right now. Let's go up. Let's go. Let's see. All right. Um, Shouts out to Lotus Blossom. She says, my thing ain't working right. My kids be be, be beating up my, my, my stuff. All right. Let's go back. The ass business. That's right. That's what we call it. The ass business. And we do it just like the mafia. This thing of our own. You know what I'm saying? You catch somebody using some jerkies, you slap the shit out of them and, and tell them you better, I, you better have a product from somebody that look like us. There's no reason. There's no reason why we should be buying any, any, any oils for skin and hair from anybody else other than us. It's that that's our thing. Our ash is ours. It's the ash, but it's ours. One hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know. I, I, you know, um, uh, Lotus says yes, yes. Her Yanni service are amazing as well. Oh, so now the sister has started a Yanni service. For those that don't know what the Yanni service is, my daughter, she where she at? That's the coochie business, right? She. She steams. She has a spa, right? Where she, y'all got to get in contact with her, right? Listen, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to tell y'all. Um, uh, uh, Stephanie Persons, the backyard can rise. Yes, yes, build each other up. That's right. That's what I'm doing. Uh, oh man, my brother Ernie, what's up, bro? Hey, so like I said, we got people all over the country, right? And we all got kitchens. For those that don't know, do you know what a kitchen originally was? What a kitchen is? A kitchen is a laboratory. A kitchen is a laboratory. We need to learn how to start using that shit to start creating stuff other than stuff to stuff down our throats. This is why I'm about to start talking. I'm about to get off of here and I'm about to do my show on intermittent fasting and why it's important. For those that don't know what intermittent fasting in on the on and Goose Saba Challenge, we got this thing called the um the 21 day in Guza Saba challenge. Now the Guza Saba challenge is not just about drinking ambrosia. You ain't have to drink ambrosia. What the 21 day challenge is is one changing your mind, right? Changing your mind, right? So we we deal with the human being five different it's five parts of the human being. The intuition, the mental, the emotional, the spiritual, and the physical. Right? Now, if any of these is not working, if your physical body is fucked up, then the whole thing is out of order. If your emotions is fucked up, then the whole thing is out of order. It's out of whack. So now, how do we bring that together? First, by taking control of the symbols. The first thing we take control of is the days of the week. We no longer talk about Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday and Sunday. I owe y'all 49 push-ups. We talk about Umoja, Kuji Chakli, Ujima, Ujama, Nia, Kumbinamani. And we look for those principles every day. Take the Nguza Saba Challenge. I'll post it up for y'all. Uh, oh, man. So, of course, he said not enough. I hope it's not me. Yanni means sacred space. Okay. Yeah, it is a sacred space. Um, We're putting power back in our portals. Uh-oh. Not enough data is buffering love. You alright, Ernie? Um, so, alright, Facebook, I'm about to get up off of here because I gotta I gotta go and focus on my YouTube fam. 
Because I got a few of y'all. Uh, follow me on YouTube. Hi Tim on YouTube or Giami Journey. Also, I want to advertise my, my daughter's show. Because like I said, man, this YouTube thing, this Facebook Live thing, dude, this gives us an opportunity to have our own businesses. Listen to me. Whoever thought that we would be able to get up and do a radio show or a talk show where I'm able to talk to people. My brother is in Milwaukee, right? I got people tuning in from California. Yancey is in Atlanta. We all doing it all at the same time. Water park. Who went to the water park? Me. Um, go ahead. Go to the water park. Yes. Yes. It ain't even that hot. But, hey, cold water good for you. I just did one on cold water showers. We're able to talk to each other all the country and have our own shows, all right? So, Facebook, I'm out. I wish y'all peace, power, joy, and 100 years. And I am out. And I toast your ancestors, and I pray that your day will be as beautiful as you are. Miss Penny, Miss Gap, um, uh, um, Miss Penny, uh, what? I'm gonna send you my I'm gonna send you my information so you Miss J, Miss Jasmine Agape Pennywell. Be sure to text me. Um, well I'm gonna I'm gonna um I'm gonna text you through Facebook after I get done. I'm gonna be done in probably about another 15 minutes, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna send you my map and then I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna grab your um Scoby. I'm gonna get it ready, package it up. And I have instructions for you when you get here. It's very simple. You can start and you'll be drinking your own. Um, it won't be that ambrosia. But you'll be drinking your own June by next Nia. By Nia. All right. Count those days off because I already owe 49 push-ups. I'm going to put this on pause and do it. All right. Everybody else, I love y'all. Thank you for taking time and joining me. Um, YouTube, it's your time now. So I'm out, Facebook. Alright fam, so let's get let's get our stuff together real quick. Of course y'all know y'all seen I went off. I'm sorry. Um I'm gonna pause it for a second. I need to take my oils and then we're gonna get into intermittent fasting real quick. Alright fam, yo, um I'm sorry it's running over. I'm already at probably about 35 minutes. Um but listen, I try, you know, and I apologize because I want y'all to know I respect y'all time, but sometimes I, I go off, as y'all see I was on um, Facebook uh, live and I was getting a lot of responses, because you know on these money days, a lot of people aren't working, so we, you know, we, we just go in. But before I start on the fasting, I want to introduce you to a book that was introduced to me, somebody in my circle, um, and everybody, er, now listen, those of you on the Inguza Saba Challenge, you need to start developing you growth circles. Um, individuals that are like you, that think like you, that you can have conversations with. I have a friend by the name of John Calhoun. I have interviewed him on a few shows. Um, Y'all can check some of those out on GiamiJourney.com. Um, you go through the archives, John Calhoun, very insightful brother, um, a brother that, um, like I said, I can't speak to as much as I would like to because I know the conversation is going to be long and he always brings me good books. So the latest book that he brought me, and I'm sharing this with you on intermittent fasting because I want you to get this concept. Um, the book is called Stealing Fire. Um... How Silicon Valley, the Navy SEALs, and Maverick scientists are revolutionizing the way we live and work. Now, this book, let me read the um, what it's about real quick. And then I'll tie it into why I'm reading it with intermittent fasting. And tomorrow we'll be doing fasting. Um, it's the biggest revolution you've never heard of. And it's hiding in plain sight. Over the past decade, Silicon Valley executives like Eric Schmidt and Elon Musk, special operators like the Navy SEALs and the Green Berets, and Maverick scientists like Sasha Sogan and Amy Cuddy have turned everything we thought we knew about high performance upside, upside down. Instead of grit, better habits, or 10,000 hours, 
these trailblazers have found a surprising shortcut. They are harnessing rare controversial states of consciousness to solve critical challenges and outperform the competition. Now, Brother Hatim, what does that have to do with intermittent fasting? Right? I want you to pay attention to the last the few words. It says, um, they're harnessing a rare controversial state of consciousness. A rare state of consciousness, right? Now, this state of consciousness, a lot of people call it the zone. A lot of people call it being in the gap, right? And there are certain ways that you get into it. And one of the ways that I'm bringing to you right now that you can start harnessing some of these states is through intermittent fasting, fasting, and breathing, right? Nothing, nothing major, nothing super complicated, right? Holding of the breath, breathing more oxygen than you need, letting more oxygen out than you have, um, fasting. Intermittent fasting. It allows you to fall into a zone. So now, um, I'm going to this site called the um, Authority Nutrition Nutrition Logo. Um, this is Article 10: Evidence-Based Health Benefits of Intermittent Fasting. All right, um, by Chris Gunnars. Um, hell, they got almost a million views. Seven hundred ninety-one thousand two hundred twenty views. Intermittent fasting is an eating pattern where you cycle between periods of eating and fasting. We spoke about it. We call it the warrior diet. We do a four-hour period where we are allowed to eat, right? For those that's on the Inglusive Challenge and is taking a part of the challenge. You don't have to take that part of the challenge. But I'm trying to help you learn how to get into these alternate states. Now, let me tell you all something, right? See, because I'm preparing us for... A, a, a new economy. And I need y'all to understand this. I want y'all to listen to this, right? I got this from the writers of Stealing Fire. And because I got the book on, um, of course, I use Audible because I don't have a lot of time to be sitting down reading um, like I used to. One of the first questions any reasonable listener asks when presented with the fact, listen to this, that there, there's a four trillion not million, not billion, a four trillion dollar underground economy dedicated to altered states is how on earth could we have missed something that big? Why is it in front page news? Now, everybody is trying to figure out how to get to alternate, alternate states, right? From big companies in Silicon Valley, Valley, like as they say, as Navy SEALs or athletes, all of us in our fields, we're trying to get to an alternate state. Right, where we, you know what I'm saying, where it's like, boom, we on vibe, we in the moment, right? <sighs> Family, listen, once we start learning and mastering our skills, what's going to stop us from being able to help other people get into alternate states? It's a business. It's a business. It's not personal. It's business. And I always wanted to say that. That's a line from the Godfather, for those that don't know. Intermittent fasting is one of these ways where we can help people doing it. And prolonged fasting, which we'll talk about tomorrow, because I will be starting a prolonged fast. I don't know how many days I'm gonna go. I gotta decide. I gotta get myself disciplined together. And I have I'm and I'm I'm gonna need y'all support to make sure that I'm sticking to my guns because I need to reset. Alright. Numerous studies show that it can have powerful benefits for your body and brain. Here are 10 evident evidence-based health benefits of intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting changes the function of cells, genes, and hormones. When you don't eat for a while, several things happen in your body. For example, your body imitates important, oh my fault, your body initiates important cellular repair processes and changes hormone levels to make stored body fat more accessible. Here are some of the changes that occur in your body during fasting. Insulin levels. Blood levels of insulin drop significantly, which facilitate fat burning. Now, as long as insulin is in your bloodstream, your body will not burn fat. So when the insulin levels start dropping in your bloodstream, that's when your body starts burning fat. Hint, hint, for those that's trying to, live, that's trying to lose weight, hint, hint. For those who are trying to get their body to start burning fat, which is what I'm trying to do, 
right? You know what I'm saying? Because it's real good for like endurance. It's a smoother and cooler burn. Um, it's 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 one of those points where you are in the zone, right? When your body is burning fat, it's a little bit different than the burning of sugar. All right, and it's called ketosis. Human growth hormone. The blood levels of growth hormone may increase as much as fivefold. Higher levels of hormone facilitate fat burning and muscle gain and have numerous other benefits. Now, a lot of people believe that they get weak when you get hungry. But I want y'all to think about the insanity of that, right? This is how this this is why I say we got to change our mind. Think about this. If human beings got weak when they got hungry, right? How would we have caught animals? How would we have, how would we have went and did half the shit we do? Because a majority of our human history, we were hungry. When we are hungry, it triggers something within us. When we are able to move faster and do things. Why? Because we have to satisfy that hunger. Right? You know what I'm saying? You don't have a lot of motivation, motivational speakers talking about, well, I'm full and I'm satisfied. No, motivational speakers talk about, I'm hungry. You got to be hungry, right? How in the hell does being hungry when, when we pursuing a goal any different than being hungry physically? When we are hungry, right, uh, we energy is produced. Why? Because you have to fulfill the quest to get that food. So it's, it's, it's anti-survival for you to be tired when you're hungry. If you are tired when you're hungry, there's something wrong and you might need to get checked out, family. This is why I'm telling you, it's healthy to be hungry. Cellular repair. The body induces important cellular repair processes such as removing waste and material from cells. Many of us, because we never give our body a break, we have years and years and years of shit piled up in us. Gene expression. These are beneficial changes in several genes and molecules related to longevity and protection against disease. Now, let me tell you where all this intermittent fasting started. It's, it's a fancy word, but y'all going to be kind of surprised where a lot of this far as, as far as the black community started. Elijah Muhammad told people years ago that they only supposed to eat one time a day. When I first heard that, I said, that's crazy. That's crazy, right? But now, I'm 50 years old, I'm understanding, right? We need to make sure our young people understand this type of stuff, right? Eating one time a day, right? Or eating during a period of the day empowers you. It doesn't weaken you. It makes you stronger. Even if you're an athlete, like, you know, like there's certain athletes, like I'm understanding um, Bo, you know what I'm saying? I think it's Bo Jackson. He's eating one time, one time. One time a day. And those of you that's old enough to remember Bo Jackson, Bo Jackson was good at all sports. Track, motherfucker run you over at football, hit a homer. He'll play a football game and a baseball game within the same week. He was one of the first athletes that, play, that, that signed two contracts. One for baseball, one for football. Eating one time a day. How the fuck this, how, the, how does eating, how does, how does eating one time a day Make you weak. When you got somebody like Bo Jackson, if I'm correct, Bo Jackson is now doing MMA. And Bo Jackson older than me. Gene expression. On oh, my fault. Many of the benefits of intermittent fasting are related to these changes in hormones, gene expression, and function of cells. Bottom line, when you fast, insulin levels drop and human growth hormone increases. Your cells also initiate important cellular repair processes and change when genes, which genes they express. Two, intermittent fast can help you lose weight and belly fat. Many of those who try intermittent fasting are doing it in order to lose weight. Generally speaking, intermittent fasting will make you eat fewer meals unless you Unless you compensate by eating much more during the other meals, you will end up taking in fewer calories. Additionally, intermittent fasting enhances hormone function to facilitate weight loss. 
lower insulin levels, higher growth hormone levels, increased amounts of noro, norepinephrine or noradrenaline all increase the breakdown of body fat and facilitate its use for energy. For this reason, short-term fast, fasting actually increases your meta metabolic rate by 3.6 to 14 percent, helping you burn even more calories. In other words, intermittent fasting works on both sides of the calorie equation. It boosts your metab metab metabolic rate, increases calories out, and reduces the amount of food you eat, reduces calories in. According to a 2014 review of the scientific literature, intermittent fasting can cause weight loss of 3 to 8% over 3 to 24 weeks. This is a huge amount. The people also lost 4 to 7% of their waist circumference, which indicates they lost lots of belly fat, the harmful fat in the abdominal cavity that causes disease. So weight around this area is one of the major causes of diseases. One review study also showed that intermittent fasting caused less muscle loss than continuous calorie restriction. All things considered, intermittent fasting can be incredibly powerful, uh, an, an incredibly powerful weight loss tool. More details here, how intermittent fasting can help you lose weight. Bottom line, intermittent fasting helps you eat fewer calories while boosting metabolism slightly. It is very effect, it's a very effective tool to lose weight and belly fat. Intermittent fasting can reduce insulin resistance, lowering your risk of type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes has become incredibly common in recent decades, especially in my community, in my tribe, in my nation. Its main feature is high blood sugar levels in the context of insulin resistance. Anything that reduces insulin resistance should help lower blood sugar levels and protect against type 2 diabetes. Interestingly, intermittent fasting has been shown to have a major benefit for insulin resistance and lead to an impressive reduction in blood sugar levels. In human studies of intermittent fasting, blood sugar has been reduced by 3 to 6 percent, while fasting insulin has re been reduced by 20 to 31 percent. One study in diabetic rats also showed that intermittent fasting protected against kidney damage, one of the most severe complications of diabetes. What this implies is that intermittent fasting may be highly protective for people who are at risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Need I say more? I mean, I could stop right here, right? This this is this 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 is a gem for us, right? I mean, just by us cutting down to one meal a day as adults, we reduce our we reduce the chances of kidney damage and type 2, and possibly type 1 diabetes. However, there may be some differences between genders. One study in women showed that blood sugar control actually worsened after 22-day long intermittent fasting protocol. Okay? So women, beware after 22 days. It's only a 21-day challenge. Intermittent fasting can reduce insulin resistance and lower blood sugar levels in, in at least in men. Intermittent fasting can reduce oxidative stress and inflammation in the body. We talked about that, right? Oxidative stress is one of the steps towards aging and many chronic diseases. Those that want to continue looking good. It's good to periodically do intermittent fast. It's like one week on, one week off. You know what I'm saying? Which is added to your life. All right? It involves unstable molecules called free radical, which react with other important molecules like protein and DNA and damage them. Several studies show that intermittent fasting may enhance the body's resistance to oxidative stress. Additionally, studies show that intermittent fasting can help fight inflammation, another key driver of all sorts of common diseases. Bottom line. Studies show that intermittent fasting can reduce oxidative damage and inflammation in the body. This should have benefits against aging and development of numerous diseases. Inflammation, inflammation is one of the startings, is one of the starting points of a lot of diseases. Intermittent fasting may be beneficial for heart health. 
Heart disease is currently the world's biggest killer. It is known that various health worker health markers, so-called risk factors, are associated with either an increased or decreased risk of heart disease. Intermittent fasting has been shown to improve numerous um, different risk factors, including blood pressure, total, and LDL cholesterol, blood triglycerides, inflammatory marks, and blood sugar levels. However, a lot of this is based on animal studies. The effects on heart health need to be studied a lot further in humans before recommending before recommendation can be made. Now, family, check this out. Let's say this. I want to say this to you, and I want you to think about this, right? These are the fields that we need to be pushing our children in, right? There's no reason why our kids can't do studies on us as we get older, right? If we are healthy, right, and able to do these studies. We don't need to wait for them to do the studies. We can do the studies ourselves. Bottom line, studies show that intermittent fasting can improve numerous risk factors for heart disease, such as blood pressure, cholesterol levels, triglycerides, and inflammatory markers. Intermittent fasting, number six. Intermittent fasting induces various cellular repair processes. When we fast, the cells in the body initiate a cellular waste removal process called auto, autofa, autophagy. Autophagy? Autophagy. autophagy. This involves the cell breaking down and metabolizing broken and dysfunctional proteins that build up inside cells over time. Increased autophagy may provide protection against several diseases including cancer and Alzheimer's disease. Bottom line, fasting triggers a, metab a, 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 metabolic, a metabolic pathway called autophagy which removes waste material from cells. Seven. Intermittent fasting may help prevent cancer. Cancer is a terrible disease characterized by uncontrollable growth of cells. Fasting has been shown to have several benefits on metabolism that may lead to reduced risk of cancer. Although human studies are needed, promising evidence from animal studies indicate that intermittent fasting may help prevent cancer. There is also some evidence on human cancer patients showing that fasting reduces various side effects of chemotherapy. Now, if you're doing intermittent fasting before, then you don't need to do it during chemo, because you don't need chemotherapy. Let's get rid of the chemotherapy, because that shit kills most of the people that do it, and let's just do intermittent fasting and eliminate cancer. Intermittent fasting has been shown to help prevent cancer in animal studies. One paper in humans showed that it can reduce side effects caused by chemotherapy. Just do intermittent fasting once a month for a week for 10 days. It's not that you totally stop eating. It's just that you extend the time in which you're not eating. You're giving your body time to heal. Intermittent fasting is good for your brain. Number eight, what is good for the body is often good for the brain as well. Intermittent fasting improves various metabolic, metabolic features known to be important for brain health. This induces... This includes reduced oxidative stress, reduced inflammation, and a reduction in blood sugar levels and insulin resistance. Several studies in rats have shown that intermittent fasting may increase the growth of new nerve cells, which should have benefits for brain function. So through intermittent fasting, you grow new nerve cells, family. Animal studies has also shown that intermittent fasting protects against brain damage due to strokes. Bottom line, intermittent fasting may have important benefits for brain health. It may increase growth of new neurons and protect the, the, the brain from damage. Number five, Alzheimer's disease. All right? Alzheimer's disease. Now, my camera about to stop, so I'm going to switch real quick. Maybe. Alzheimer's disease is the world's most common neurodegenerative disease. There's no cure available for Alzheimer's, so preventing it from showing up in the first place is critical. A study in rats shows that intermittent fasting may delay the onset of Alzheimer's disease or reduce its severity. In a series of case reports, a lifestyle intervention that induced included daily short-term fast was able to significantly improve Alzheimer's symptoms in 9 out of 10 patients. I wish I'd known this when my grandfather was alive. 
In a series of case reports, a lifestyle intervention that included daily short-term fasts was able to significantly improve Alzheimer's symptoms in 9 out of 10 patients. Animal studies have suggested that fasting may protect against other neurodegenerative diseases including Parkinson's and Huntington's disease. However, more research in humans is needed. Bottom line, studies in animals suggest that an intermittent fast may be protective against neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's disease. Intermittent number 10, intermittent fasting may extend your lifespan, helping you live longer. One of the most exciting applications of intermittent fasting may be its ability to extend lifespan. Studies in rats have shown that intermittent fasting extends lifespan in a similar way as continuous calories restrictions. In some of these studies, the effects were quite dramatic. In one of them, rats that fasted every other day lived 83% longer than rats who weren't, who weren't fasting. 83%? That, that means that for every 100 years, you get 83. Did y'all hear that? 83%. Now, I know the, the results is going to be different in human beings because we're bigger than rats. The small size help with that. But listen, 83%? Although this is far from being proven in humans, intermittent fast has been has become very popular among the anti-aging crowd. Given the known benefits for metabolism and all sorts of health markers, it makes sense that intermittent fasting can help you live longer and a healthier life. You can find more info about intermittent fasting on this page. Enemy Fasting 101, The Ultimate Beginner's Guide. So, now, tomorrow, we will talk a little bit more about fasting, and we're going to go into just straight fasting and some of the benefits that come from a prolonged fast. All right, y'all see I'll be doing my research for y'all, right? I'll be doing that research. I want to say great money to all of y'all. Today is the day of faith. Look for faith, harmony, trust, um, the um, the hermetic law of gender, male name, Kwesi, female name, Akusua. At least that's what it say on there. So I got to go on and correct that. All right, this is Brother Hot Tim, and I'm out. Thank you for taking the time and watching. Peace. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe. Click the bird right there, the fiery bird. And. I also have a special video just for you, right there. And for those that want more information about Jamie Journey, go to our site. It should be right about there.